named after one of the most prominent church leaders in the 20th century. The Ecumenical Patriarch Athenagoras Human Rights Award was established by the Order of St. Andrew the Apostle in 1986 to acknowledge individuals or institutions that exemplify the protection of human rights in our fragmented and fragile world. Over the years, it has been presented to ecclesiastical, political and civil leaders for their distinguished service. His Beatitude, Patriarch Theodore, who this month marks 18 years since his election to the See of Alexandria, founded by St. Mark the Apostle, succeeded Patriarch Petros VII upon the latter's untimely death in 2004. In this, Patriarch Theodore continues the legacy of his predecessors, most notably of Patriarch Parthenios, in closely aligning his church with the Church of Constantinople. Patriarch Theodore was born in Crete. He studied at the famous Rizarios School in Athens, where Saint Nectarios of Pentapolis taught, and at the University of Thessaloniki. Before his election as Patriarch, he served the Church of Crete. As exarch to Patriarchs Nicholas and Parthenios of Alexandria to Russia in Odessa, as vicar of Patriarch Petros, and finally as Metropolitan of Cameroon and then Metropolitan of Zimbabwe. In the person of Patriarch Theodore, the Athenagoras Human Rights Award highlights a quartet of unique yet complementary dimensions in his advocacy of human rights. When we think of the Patriarchate of Alexandria today, our mind turns with respect toward the tireless work of countless missionaries from all over the world, especially from Greece, Cyprus and the United States, who planted the seeds of Orthodox Christianity in Africa, making disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. From the groundbreaking ministry of Archbishop Anastasios, now of Albania, in Uganda, Tanzania and Kenya many decades ago, to the self-effacing ministry of Bishop Themistocles of Nicopolis in Freeport and Sierra Leone. The Patriarchate of Alexandria has nurtured the right of Africans to be baptized and develop an indigenous parish life and seminary education while serving as a beacon of hope for a continent so deeply fraught with challenges. Today, clergy with African roots are the promising future of a rapidly growing church in the world's second largest continent with the paternal blessing and pastoral leadership of Patriarch Theodore. Without a doubt, the most historical event in the recent life of the Orthodox Church is the Holy and Great Council held in June 2016 on the island of Crete. Lost in a labyrinth of endless preparations, but rooted in the Ecumenical Patriarch's responsibility to guide the Odocephalus churches, the scale and success of this council remain unmatched in the Orthodox Church of the past millennium. More than any other event in our lifetime, the Great Council released a potential for Orthodox cooperation as well as for Orthodox engagement with the modern world. But Ecumenical Patriarch Bartholomew could not have succeeded in overcoming the obstacles along the way without the commitment by the majority of churches, foremost among which was the Patriarchate of Alexandria. Patriarch Theodore stood tall in his conviction that the Holy and Great Council was a responsibility of the Orthodox Church in today's world. He preserved the unequivocal rights of the Ecumenical Patriarchate to facilitate Orthodox unity. Along with his educated and vibrant hierarchy, he played an invaluable role in the Council 
often reminding the bishops present, sometimes distracted by issues exclusive to an affluent first world, that Christ identifies with the least of his brothers and sisters, who are directly impacted by the actions of powerful nations, institutions and corporations. Perhaps the most tangible support demonstrated by Patriarch Theodore for the sacred order of the Orthodox Church in the last years was the endorsement of the right of the Ukrainian people to their own church. Patriarch Theodore recognized the obligation of the Ecumenical Patriarch to assess the needs of Orthodox regions and to consider appeals to establish national churches as it has done in the case of numerous autocephalous churches, including Moscow, Serbia, Romania, Bulgaria, Georgia, Greece, Poland, Albania, the Czech lands and Slovakia. The youngest in a long series of daughter churches of Constantinople is the Church of Ukraine that lies within the sovereign territory of the state of Ukraine. Long embroiled in a conflict created by the Russian Federation and blessed by the Moscow Patriarchate, after years of negotiations with all parties, Ecumenical Patriarch Bartholomew bestowed on the devout Ukrainian people the Tomos of autocephaly in 2019. The unjustifiable cost, human, financial and environmental, of the ongoing war by Russia on Ukraine has confirmed the prophetic element in this initiative of the Ecumenical Patriarch. Patriarch Theodore was the first primate of an autocephalous church to validate this decision. Finally, the Patriarchate of Alexandria is one of the five ancient churches known as the Pentarchy, which includes the churches of Rome, New Rome Constantinople, Alexandria, Antioch and Jerusalem. The primates of Alexandria have included such luminaries as Saints Athanasios and Kirill, as well as Kirill Lucaris and Miletios Metaxakis. With its local metropolitan dioceses, this patriarchate extends across the great city of Alexandria, Libya, Pentapolis, Ethiopia, all Egypt and all Africa. It is a supranational church with jurisdiction over all Orthodox on the continent of Africa, regardless of nationality or ethnicity. And by the way, Patriarch Theodore is the first hierarch in recent decades to initiate the restoration of the Order of Deaconesses. The Holy Synod of the Patriarchate of Alexandria is convinced that the Ministry of Deaconesses can prove invaluable to the mission in Africa. To sum up, from his consequential position, not only has Patriarch Theodore championed the human rights of the people of Africa, the canonical prerogatives of the Church of Constantinople and the ecclesiastical privileges of the faithful in Ukraine, but he has also protected the long-standing jurisdictional rights of his own Patriarchate of Alexandria against the recent uncanonical invasion of the Moscow Patriarchate into its ecclesiastical territory, which came in direct retaliation against Patriarch Theodore's recognition of the autocephaly of Ukraine. The Athenagoras Human Rights Award of 2022 is awarded to the Pope and Patriarch of Alexandria and all Africa, Theodore II. The Order of St. Andrew the Apostle, Archons of the Ecumenical Patriarchate, proudly presents this award to Patriarch Theodore and wishes him many years of growing ministry. Many years your beatitude, pola taetisas makariotate.